Andy Mack from Akai Professional and today I'm going to be giving you an exclusive look at the new MPC virtual software. So what is the MPC software? Well it's basically be designed to give you that same classic MPC workflow and the feel with all the key features that you've heard on so many countless hit records. So we have the 16 levels, we have the note repeat, we have the quantize and we have the legendary MPC swing all inside your DAW. So let's take a look at those features now. So this is our main menu and you can see our 16 pads of our samples assigned and then above that we have our drum grid. Then the top right we have our swing settings. Then next to that we have our time correction and quantize. Then we move over to our bar selection which we can move. And then to the next to that we have our track selection here. So if we move to the middle we have BPM. Then we have swing adjustment. And then this section here is our MPC modes. So at the moment we're in MPC mode, then we can put it into MIDI mode if you want to drive an external module, and then plug-in mode if you want to open up a virtual instrument inside the software. So assigning samples to the pads has never been so simple. It is simply just drag and drop the data. So on the left-hand side of the screen is where we have all our sample content, and we simply scroll down, select the sounds that we want, where we can pre-audition, and then we literally just drag them onto the pads, and then we can make our program and start making our beat. So let's talk briefly about how you get your sounds inside the MPC software. Now, the software will read every MPC file format from the 6D through to the MPC 5000. So it will read all your programs, all your old SND files, AIFF, WAV files, MP3 files, and then you can continue your workflow all inside the virtual software. So now you finish your beat, how do you get it out of the software for mix down? Well, it's a very, very simple process. Now we can do this in two different file formats. We can either bounce it down as a stereo file or we can do it as individual stems. Now the advantage of individual stems is if we're using Pro Tools or Logic and we're going to a studio for a mix down, we'll have all the original drum content data so we can then just bring it up on our console and then go into mix mode. So this process is so, so simple. Now let me show you how it works. So within my MPC environment, I move up to File in the top left, and then I select Export, and then I move down to Audio Mixdown. And then here I can select the type of bounce I want to use. So I've got Stereo, or I can go to Individual Files, and this is what I'm going to do if I'm going to take my individual tracks into Pro Tools or Logic for Mixdown. So I can just select that, then press OK. So can you sample directly into the MPC software? Well, the answer is yes, you can. Now, if you're using the Renaissance, you can actually hook up your turntable or your CD player inputs directly into the back of the controller, as this has a built-in audio interface. But if you're using the studio, you will have to use an external interface or just drag and drop samples directly from your internal hard drive. So let's talk about sampling and editing. Now if inside the software, we've really given you some of the most unique tools to really manipulate your audio. So we have features like bit reduction, reverse, normalization, pitch shifting, and the most important feature, time stretching. But it doesn't stop there. We've just implemented the most advanced beat slicing system. So now when you take your sample, you can slice it in three different formats via BPM, time signature or threshold and then once you've done your slices you can audition them directly from the MPC pads or from the software. So let's talk about plugging in instruments. Now the MPC software can run in two different modes, either standalone inside your PC or Mac, or as a virtual instrument inside your DAW. And then you can load your favorite compressor and EQ plugins or your virtual instruments all inside both environments. And it will support RTAS, AU or VST formats. So let's take a closer look. As you can see, within this window, I'm going to choose my snare drum which is here, and I go to program edit, and if I scroll to the right hand side of the software, I have a tube tech, which I can just load up by hitting it here, and now I've got full control over the sound of that sample, um, and I can choose any other compressor or EQs from my list here, and that's how easy it is. So now you've heard all about the software, let's make a beat.
I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Andy Mack giving you this exclusive look at the new up and coming MPC virtual software. Make sure you check us out online at www.akipro.com and you'll see some more exclusive videos coming very, very soon. Now take care.